by saying that uh, for the last three days uh, we had, we had uh, a board meeting deliberating on issues that are of concern to the bank and the economic well-being of this country uh, issues focusing on, on economic and monetary policies and we had uh, a good discussion with the board members and uh, we ended up having resolved amicably a number of issues that came to the board and so I would end that uh, we had a good board meeting. Now to connect that with the issues of today I would like to say again uh, thank you for coming and I just want to make a statement especially on what we are doing as a bank to stabilize the currency market and at the end of the day contribute to achieving our core mandate which is price stability. So I'm going to read a statement that will capture the gist of the message that I would like to pass out today. As we approach the last quarter of 2023 Coupled with recent public sector pay raise, the Bank of South Sudan has observed a modest strengthening of the U.S. dollars against the South Sudanese pound over the last one week. The upward review of the pay rise may pose a potential risk in the growth of broad money, which could potentially lead to adverse ramification on the general price level. That being the situation, we are very hopeful that there are a number of measures that we have put in place which we believe going forward that will mitigate the adverse uh, effects of the pay raise. To mitigate the adverse effect of this phenomenon, the bank will work closely with the Ministry of Finance and Planning to ensure macroeconomic stability. Broadly, the bank has put in place mechanisms to control this effect by boosting its capacity to intervene in the foreign exchange market through purchase of US dollars from government to pay the salaries of the public employees and by util utilizing provisions of the Treasury single account agreement that will allows that allows the bank to automatically exchange foreign component of domestic revenue into South Sudanese pound with an aim to build reserves. The bank will also scale up the uptake of term deposit facility auctions by increasing the volume, please underline the word volume, and reinstating shorter term tenors that are attractive to the banks. The combination of both direct and indirect monetary policy instruments at our disposal will strengthen our capacity in sterilizing excessive liquidity in the sh in, from the system and thereby controlling the adverse effect of excessive money supply. Accordingly, the bank will undertake the following specific policy measures. One, the bank will continue with tightening of the monetary policy stand by maintaining the 10% growth, 10% target for the money growth in broad money. Second, we'll do so by maintaining the central bank interest rate at 15% until further notice. That means until prices are stabilized or until we believe that we have achieved our mandate. 
and which is to move in the opposite direction, in the downward direction. Third, increasing the volume of the weekly foreign exchange auctions. For the last few weeks, or let me say for the last two or three months, we have had the size that was relatively stable, but we saw last week that uh, there was some gyration in the currency market, a, a bit of uh, de depreciation in the pound, and as a result, the bank made a decision to increase the amount that we auction up. So yesterday, during the auction, we put up a figure that was more, almost twice what we have put up in the recent past. And for those of you that might have seen, that made some differences. It led to a slight stabilization or even a slight drop uh, in the action rate. And we believe that work. And going forward, the bank will continue to increase the amount that we auction. And the last point that I would like to add on this specific policy measures is that we will continue to strengthen policy coordination with the physical authorities. This is key. It's not only in South Sudan. It is an issue that is of international character. You know, on one hand, you have physical policy. They are aiming to raise revenue and make decisions about spending. On the other hand, you have the bank whose mandate is to stabilize prices and achieve price stability. So the two hands have to talk to each other and they both have to not only work and collaborate, but to ensure that they can track what the other does in the negative, uh, in, in the negative ter territory. And the best example here is that while it is really a good idea to increase salaries and pay government workers comparable worth, you could see that on the other hand that a higher pay raise may have a negative impact. Then what does the bank do? The bank has to go out and sterilize, meaning that we have to inject the vehicle currency, which is the dollars, to move the excessive liquidity in the, in the market. So policy co coordination is a key thing. And we believe this is, this is an area where the bank and the means of finance will continue to coordinate to achieve the ultimate objectives, which at the end of the day are price stability that are directed to achieving full employment and job creation. And then at the end of the day, of course, you transform the lives of people. So going forward, the bank of South Sudan assures the public that it will keep monitoring developments in the foreign exchange market. It will intervene when necessary through increasing the amount of dollars for auction going to both forex and commercial banks with an aim to support the balance of payment obligations and at the end of the day combat inflationary pressures. This, I believe, is the policy direction that the bank is taking under this new leadership.